Let's continue the conversation. Ryan Ellis, president of the Center for a Free Economy, here to help us dig into this a little bit more. Thank you so much for being with us. You know, I was thinking about the fact I've lived in like six states in my lifetime so far, and not once did I ever think, let me research the tax ROI before I move to a place. But should we? Well, tax ROI is is a term of art, right? You can't know the value of something except as it's really intangible. What you can know is, is the state that I'm moving into a high tax state or is it a low tax state? And what we've seen from any number of data, you look at the IRS data, you look at U-Haul keeps uh, data on who moves where. Um, we found that over the last 10 to 20 years, overwhelmingly people have voted with their feet to go from high tax states to low tax states. So states like California and New York are losing residents. States like Texas and Florida and Tennessee and New Hampshire, which don't even have an income tax, uh, are gaining residents. So that's where people are voting with their feet. Uh, whether there's a good value out to government or not, I'll leave to them. Uh, but they seem to be able to have no problem putting up roots, selling forever homes, buying forever homes uh, in these places. And so I don't think there's a problem with government services where they're moving. Well, it, it I was looking at this evidence. Seven of the top 10 states on the list voted for former President Trump in 2020. Eight of the bottom 10 states voted for President Biden. There's a lot of politicizing that we could do here on this, but geographically, the states that have, like, for example, Texas, there is no state income tax. So it's going to be a lot more affordable to live there. And quite frankly, a lot of the southern states would vote for former President Trump because they're more historically conservative. So is this really more about geography? I don't think it's about geography. I think if you have a state like New Hampshire, uh, which has no income tax, and a state like Florida, which has no income tax, and they're each doing well on metrics like this and in terms of population inflow, uh, then uh, it's I, I don't think it's geographically correlated. I think the correlation that you're looking for here is do we have a low tax environment do we have an environment where if you wanted to start a small business, it's going to thrive and be successful? Uh, do we have an environment where there's all sorts of big labor problems that I'm going to encounter or not? And that's why you see people moving into states where they can start small businesses and, and earn income in such a way that they're not going to lose half of it. Uh, it really does correlate to taxes. You look at the IRS data, you look at the U-Haul data. It really is very, very clear, as you pointed out, that people are moving from high tax states to low tax states. You look That's at, where they're moving with their feet. That's where they're voting with their feet. Well, you look at Florida and you look at Texas, two of the top growing states in the entire country, both zero state uh, income tax. Uh, but do tax, uh, do states rather with higher taxes do a better job of providing government services than states with lower taxes? Or is, the vice, is it vice versa? Well, not according to the people who are moving out of those high tax, so-called high government service states. If the government services were so good, people would stay. Right. They wouldn't leave. They obviously don't value that. What they value is, look, if I'm if I'm moving from California to Florida, for example, I'm not moving to some dystopian hellhole that doesn't have running water. I'm moving to a normal state, but it also happens to be a state where I'm going from an eight or nine or ten percent state income tax rate to a state without any income tax at all. So I think that's much more important to people. They, mm -hmm. they don't. They clearly do not place the same value on quote unquote government services as the people who wrote the study here did. Uh, <laughs> that's a no-brainer <laughs> but you're right <laughs> but, you know ultimately it's it's where where do you put your money you know where, where do you where do you actually put your feet put your money if you're buying a multi hundred thousand dollar house you're going to put a lot of research into that first and these people have clearly done that they yeah. don't mind moving to a tennessee or a texas or a florida and they're fine with the government services that's because as soon as you move there you automatically get a raise if you're moving from a high uh, tax state thank you so much ryan ellis we appreciate it thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find news nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage